the first person I was able to say, take a look, this is who I am truly. It, you know, it was like the sunshine was coming through the window for the first time. always say when I let people into my life. I think there's something for me personally about saying coming out. Um, my grandmother said this and I love the way she put this. Imagine if somebody came to your house and knocked on your door and you said, hey, come into my fabulous home. It represents me and they were like, I don't like it. You're not gonna cry. You're gonna close your door and feel comforted because you're in your house. And that was the same way about me when I was letting people into my life. If they didn't want to come into my life, I knew that was okay because I still had my home, I felt safe about myself. People don't realize, you know, how much weight it is to hold in secret. I can recall the first time my father told me, why are you walking like that? And that blocked me, it, it blocked me immediately. Whether or not I expressed that every time, I changed my behavior, I know my behavior later on that became toxic stemmed from that moment. It was, don't walk like that, walk a certain way. Toxic masculinity are specific ways that we expect men in our society to act. Those behaviors truly make the person respond to the world in a negative way. So when we hear the reason why men treat women certain ways, that's part of to toxic masculinity. The way that men don't express themselves emotionally, toxic masculinity. What's toxic about it is it's shutting yourself off from being just your holistic self. We want to men to realize that that behavior is killing you and it's hurting society. That's something that my father instilled in me of like, you work, you work, you work, you work. Yep. But even though my father used to tell me that, my granny used to always say, you have to find time for life because work is not life. A lot of the conversations that I would have with some of these guys would be like, we gotta get rid of this toxic behavior. And, you know, I played sports, I was the athlete. I was the one who was in these spaces and understood how, you know, society stifles a man's creativity and his emotional side and his curiosity because they tell you that you have to be strong and you can't cry and you can't express certain things. And all of that building up in you um, starts to eat away at you. If I do hear that voice of my father saying, why are you walking like that? I actually would put on the fiercest Naomi Campbell walk and start strutting down the street like you can't even imagine. I did it this morning. I had my headphones in, I'm walking through the streets of New York, and honey, I was pumping. Hey guys, I'm Hunter, the creator and producer of Scene. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It's such an important time to be spotlighting the game changers in the arts and entertainment. If you want to binge some more episodes with maybe a bag of potato chips or something, please like and subscribe down below. Bye.